Well, hello. Welcome back to the channel. You can probably tell I am seriously out of breath. Uh, I'm out in Yorkshire this time. Finally get out again. Covid restrictions have been eased. It's been a long wait. A really long wait. So if you uh, stick around, as you can see in the background, I've already got the camp set up. The reason, <laughs> sorry, I'm so out of breath. If I can just show you, hang on. Right, can you see that? I don't know if you can see it on here, but that hill is really, really steep. And that leads down to where I parked. And I've had to bring all my stuff up that hill. Um, and yeah, it was a bit of a challenge. But, totally worth it. I'm here. I've set, pretty much finished setting camp up because when I arrived, or rather while I was driving here, it was raining real heavy, like it was teeming down. And then as I arrived, there was a lull in the rain. So I've jumped up, I got set up. So you got the Van Gogh there. I've set a tarp up, so I've got a bit of a porch. So if it does start raining again, I'm gonna have a fire, cook some steaks, bit of surfing turf. So uh, stick around, I'll get back to you soon. Well, thought I'd give you a bit of tour of the camp, now I'm set up a bit better. Still a bit scruffy. I've left those orange bags there, because you probably can't see it on camera, but there's a guideline from a tarp there into the ground. So I've left that there, because it's underneath it. Be a bit of a reminder for later on. So that's where I'm going to have my fire. I'm going to cook my steak straight onto the coals tonight. No. Uh, just see, home from home, but this is my view for the evening. There's nobody else around, I've seen a deer running through the woods. Um, and you can hear some sheep in the background, but other than that, just peace and quiet. And, I'm going to show you something. So I've bought a few beers with me, as you know that I always do. Um, the usual old speckled head, it's my favourite. <coughs> but I stopped at a shop on the way up here for a brew and I found this. Right, where's it gone? Hang on. Oh no, where the hell have I put it? Ah, there we go, sorry. I put it back in the bag, that's why I couldn't find it. It's called Jackhammer. Now back in the day, and I'm talking a long time ago, Jackhammer was my uh, game attack on Xbox Live. So I bought that, it better be worth it, because I swear to God it was like three pound a can. Um, but it's a ruthless Indian pale ale, and uh, it's fiercely defiant and independent. Although I'm not sure whether that's the beer or the brewery. But, I'm going to have this. I'm going to have a bit of a wander around. And I'm getting hungry. And you can feel... I think it's about half four, five o'clock, and you can feel the, the earth temperature changing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have this and a bit of a wander around, and uh, another time to get the fire lit and do some cooking, I think. Hiya. Well, the fire's going. Um, it's really smoky, everything's wet. I think the, uh, the wood I've kept in my garage has got a bit damp over it's been a lot of rain lately, lately. I don't know why. By the way, that um, Jack Hammer beer, really nice. Didn't realise till I finished it, it's actually 7 point summit percent. <coughs> Slightly tuned in already. So I'll show you what I've got. I've got um, a steak. I've not done any sort of marinade, no seasoning, nothing at all like that. I'm just going to cook the steak on the fire. But what I've also got is that, which is like a, I can see it, like a seafood mix. Um, I've got some butter and a bit of garlic. And what I'm going to do is uh, just mix it up, do a bit of a surf and surf. I've got a pot to do the surf and surf in, but I forgot me uh, grill. Uh, I forgot my torch as well, but luckily I've got a backup torch that I keep in like my emergency kit. <coughs> so 
I'll let the fire get going and then what I'm going to do get it, let it go down to like you know um, to coals put the steak straight on it put the uh, the seafood mix in a pot with some butter with some garlic and hopefully it'll be quite I've just realized you know what I forgot a fork as well Jesus ah well who cares as long as you're out <laughs> and I'm soaking wet between the rain and sweating. <laughs> I'm like, my outer layer's wet from the rain and my inner layer's wet from sweating. So I need to stand by the fire for quite a while to dry out. It's like my bottom of my pants are wet. Me, you know, my hoodie's wet. <coughs> it was just too hot walking up and down to wear my big coat. Um, but I'll dry out near the fire. It's still... In fact, you know what? It's only... It's not even 20 past four, so I've got ages. It's uh, just hope the rain keeps off. All right. Well, time to chill in front of the fire for a bit. Another beer. Hi right, guys. So I've um, don't know why. Every time I go wild camping, I make the same mistake. I have a couple of beers before I get the food on, and I just end up tuned in straight away. But I've got the food in. Okay, give me a minute. I'll adjust the camera and then I'll show you. So, there's the steak cooking away. All right. Now, in there, got seafood with melted butter and garlic. It smells amazing. I don't know what it's going to turn out like. Like I say, I forgot the grill that I usually cook with. It's Just hang on. Truth be told, the last sort of two weeks, they've pushed me to my limit. As a man, they've pushed me to my limit. It's just been one thing after another. <clears throat> and I managed to get here, and it's just okay. It was almost like a race to get here, but then I was procrastinating a lot because, you know. That's what I do when I'm like really, really peed off. I'm not going to swear. I don't swear on this channel. Um, but it's just, it's just been one thing after another. And I'm really, really lucky. You know, I've got a job. I've got a nice house. I've, I've, me, me, the other half is my best friend. And I've got three amazing kids. But you know when you've, there's just things that are just get into you they're just winding you up constantly and i've missed this this period in time with this last covid lockdown where you couldn't do anything basically you wouldn't book a holiday i mean what is the point in working and grafting and doing everything that is required of you as a human being as a as a, as a man when you can't provide your family with the basics of a holiday and days out and the rewards from graft What's the point? You know. But anyway, got it off my chest. Feel a lot better about it. Should we look at the food again? Hang on. That's it there. That steak's cooking well, isn't it? And I think that'll cook and all of what's inside it. So. I'm going to jump off, I'm going to try and whittle myself a fork, well, I'll let you know what the food tastes like. Okay, so the food's finished, I'm not sure what this ste steak is going to taste like, but you can see the turf on top, or is it? No. Steak's the turf, seafood's the surf, the butter should be nice, melted in garlic, should be lovely that. Um, but it just doesn't matter, does it? I've got some, uh, I brought a French stick with me as well to have with it. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna let you watch. <laughs> I try whittling a fork. Um, I think technically a fork is supposed to have four prongs. It's a single prong. So I think the phrase is a stabby. So I've got a stabby and a knife. I suppose if I was in prison, it would do the job. 
but for eating in a dignified manner it really won't so i'm gonna enjoy my food and i'll get back to you soon all right thanks for watching well i can honestly tell you that food was actually really nice by sheer random luck that steak was cooked just right medium rare all the way through <laughs> And uh, yeah, the surf and turf worked really well. I, I left the, um, the garlic pieces whole, and so I could just pick them out and throw them back in the fire. And uh, it flavoured it really well with the butter, you know. <coughs> and I had half a French stick with it, really nice. And I'm just chilling, enjoying a beer. So cheers. God, I've missed this, you know. Just missed getting out. Just a change of environment. Getting into nature. You know, just phones ringing and emails and, you know, meetings and all that. There's only so much of that a person can put up with. You can't just be here to work. It's not enough. It's not enough at all. We need the <coughs> we need the simple pleasures in life, you know. We need to be able to go home and say, right, tomorrow morning we're going to go out, we're going to have a nice day somewhere. You need to know that you you can enjoy life. This certainly is it. Really is. It's beautiful here. It's a proper North England woodland. Holly trees, there's silver birch, there's oak. Anyway.
Hey, I've not done much filming tonight. Um, truth is, I just wanted to get away and clear my head. Just, you know, get rid of some of the stress. Something nice, so I ate a few beers. <coughs> oh, and uh, just chill out, just relax on a level that I've not been able to do for quite a while. So, happy days. Mission accomplished, really. So, anyway, I had a few beers. I'm a bit drunk, do forgive me. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Well, sweet dreams. Well, and the battery's about to go. <laughs> so, oh, well, good morning. Oh. A good night's sleep last night. Woke up. Uh, it was about one o'clock in the morning for a pee. And it was absolutely bouncing down. Raining really heavy. Oh. <sighs> but, uh, you know, did what I had to do and then went back to sleep. It wasn't cold at all. Got a uh, bottle wool blanket. Sort of a Swiss army one. It's made a difference. You just feel it, you know. Um, but then it's not as cold as the last time I went wild camping. Up in Glen Eve. God, it feels like forever ago, that. Really does. But I was so glad I got out. Just waking up to the forest. <sighs> oh, excuse me. And all the noise is, you just... You're mine. Well, that was a bad time for the battery to go. <laughs> Sorry, what was I saying? Yeah, just about how good it feels. Just getting out and de-stressing a bit and, you know. Oh. Anyway. I'm going to get up. I've got some bacon with me this morning for breakfast, but I've got to be honest, I don't know whether I can be bothered cooking it or not. I'm just not very hungry. Definitely want to get a brew on though. <sighs> right, well, I'm going to have to do something now. I? <laughs> Can't I just lie here all day. Oh, well, I suppose I could, actually. No, can't be more productive than that. Oh. Well, speak in a bit. Well, good morning. Managed to get up. I've got a brew on. And, uh thought what I'd do is give you a little bit of a tour of the campsite. Because it is really nice. So, show me around, let's have a look. So, it is quite hilly. There's a nice little stream there. And it was up there. Can't really see how hilly it is on the camera, but it was about there I saw the deer. And to be fair, it, it saw me before I saw it. They just turned and ran. Quite a big thing though. Certainly wasn't Bambi, I can tell you that. But then, when you come back up, so there's the camp that I really, really need to learn to camp lighter. I feel like I bring everything but the kitchen sink. Brews on, sort the fire pit out, leave no trace. Bit of spare firewood to chuck around. But as you come up here, there's a spot up here that I really fancied camping under. Because 
I wanted to have my fire up against that rock. Um, but it's just not suitable. But as you can see, if you come around, that just in that short distance, how high we've come from the tent. Here's quite. This is a proper, you know, woodland hillside. Well, judging by the steam, my water's ready. <sighs> Brew time. Right, guys, I'm all packed up. Um, thank you for watching, by the way. I appreciate there wasn't much filming done on this one. But I've got to be honest, I feel a bit out of practice with it. It's, it's strange. I was kind of getting into a flow of my videos and then, you know, the lockdown came and that's put the kibosh on it. And I've, I've just fallen over as well. Oh, it rained and rained and rained last night and it is so muddy this morning. I was walking down the hill, just slipped, straight on my backside. Luckily, nobody was there to see it. But what I'm going to do now is the uh, leave no trace shot. So let's have a look. So just there, that's where the tent was, where the fire was. There are footprints in that, but it's just because it's so muddy, there's nothing I can do about that really. But I think that's pretty good for leave no trace. But one last look at this beautiful spot. It's washed away a lot of stress as last night. Full 360. About to leave no trace. So, like I say, thank you for watching. Um, if you if you can like the videos and subscribe, um, I, I would appreciate it. It's kind of, it's not sort of why I'm doing this. I just I just like doing it. I just find it a fun hobby. I like the video editing and I like putting videos on YouTube. Um, but you know, if you can. I'd much appreciate it, more people would see it, I get, and, and please give me some feedback as well, about, you know, what you, you know, improvements, what you'd like to see, um, you know, within reason, um, but yeah, but thanks for watching, alright, take care.